Ah, the water of life. Give me a minute, sorry. I've been talking a lot here. I wanted to do a plug for this company, but then I realized I better not <laughs> because I don't want to be sued. It's amazing how selfish and sick these businesses and corporations and companies are, especially when it comes to homeless people. And speaking of homeless people and water, here's some stuff that you probably didn't know, and I didn't either until recently. First off, water. Water, water, water. One of the biggest problems that homeless people have is dehydrating. One of the best things that you can probably, you know, possibly ever do for them, other than giving them any kind of food that you might have on you, literally is giving them a bottle of water. It is so easy and so, so quick for them to, to dry out just to dehydrate. Dehydrate means you're thirsty, you need water. You know, when you're really bad dehydrated and about to die, you stop sweating. And with the way temperatures are going up and with how, how temperatures are just, they're, they're not only going up, but the temperatures are staying hotter longer. Homeless people are going to need water more than ever. So instead of just handing them some cash or something, I strongly suggest strapping that cash to a water bottle, giving them at least one nice big old water bottle of water, any kind of water, you know, but something that's healthy enough for you to drink also. So, and no, if you can't drink out of a stream or a ditch, then don't expect them to drink out of a stream or a ditch either. That, that is very dangerous and that's that's very inhumane <laughs> if it's not safe to drink out of you know a garden hose anymore and that is filtered processed water if you can't drink out of a garden hose without endangering your future your future body's health then don't expect someone else to drink out of something that is even worse than that a stream a pond a ditch that is awful that is really awful. So moving on to the next thing. And this, this video is intimately tied with the video involving felony convictions and being, you know, being considered a felony criminal if you are homeless. Turns out that if you are homeless, pretty much in every state in the United States, in the union, if you are homeless, it is now a felony for you to be homeless. You are a felony criminal for being homeless. And since they put a caveat to that, you know, it's not the government that's handing it down. It is the states that are handing it down. And the states themselves, and go ahead, look it up, but the states themselves have decided that in their state, it is now a felony for you to be homeless. And the way that they get around, you know, any federal laws that might be speaking against that is via saying, well, if you sleep in a public place, that's a felony. So you're automatically a felony criminal. And where else do the homeless have to sleep but public places? There is no, and they also put other rules to that too. So now having covered that, if you have been convicted of a felony crime, such as homelessness, you cannot get a food stamps card. Food stamps is SNAP, S-N-A-P. It is a SNAP card that allows you to buy food to keep yourself alive. Now, if you're a single person, you get about a hundred bucks a month. It's about 130, 125 bucks a month to feed yourself off of. With especially with food prices nowadays, that is absolute crap. That isn't going to keep you alive. That isn't going to keep you watered and that isn't going to keep you fed. Remember that a lot of homeless people, not all of them, not all of them. And that's that's another video that I'm going to deal with here. But a lot of homeless people do not have jobs. Those are usually the ones living in tents. Those are usually the ones that don't even have a tent. You know, 
if they're lucky, they might have a shopping cart that they go around collecting cans with. They're the ones who are just, they don't have a job. These are the people that need a snap card, a food stamps card the most, just so that they can be able to stay alive. They are the ones who are not able to get a snap card because whether you have a misdemeanor and definitely if you have a felony, you can no longer get a snap card. You can no longer get a food stamps card. That is just across the board for the entire nation. If you have a felony conviction, this is from the federal government. If you have a felony conviction, you can no longer get a food stamps card. A lot of states regulate it and say, well, if you have a misdemeanor on your record, you cannot get a food, st food stamps card or a snap card, an S-N-A-P, snap card. Sorry, I have a lisp. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing a lot of this stuff or if I sound lispy. <laughs> but the only people that can say lisp correctly are the ones that actually have it. At least that's my opinion. <laughs> and yes, I got a lisp. So anyway, so anyone who has, who has a misdemeanor usually pretty much, or who definitely who has a felony, you can't get a snap card and you can't, you can't get food. The only way you're going to get food is if someone hands it to you or if you somehow somewhere along the way scrape together just enough money to be able to buy food one of the big problems with this is that you know if you don't even have enough money to buy food you definitely don't have enough money to be able to say just rent a hotel room for the day or the night so that you can take a shower so that you can shave so that you can even you know change your clothes so even if you do scrape together enough money or if you're one of the few newly homeless, a lot of people who are newly homeless, they might have their hands on a snap card to begin with, but they lose that quickly because it's obviously even, even in the few areas that are trying to protect the homeless rights, it is still a misdemeanor at the very least to be homeless and to be sleeping in public and to be doing anything in public, whether it's sitting, whether it's resting, you know, they call it loitering laws. So even if you do have the ability to go into a store, you're usually so smelly and so filthy that you're, it, it's embarrassing. It's very difficult to even go in and get what you need. So there you go. Um, this one actually is pretty quick information wise. I mean, I could, I could expound in so many, so, so many directions, but I'm trying to keep it down to five minutes and I haven't really been able to do that. So anyway, that's it for this one. Yeah, most homeless people cannot have a SNAP card, S-N-A-P, SNAP card. In other words, they can't have food stamps simply because they have some sort of criminal com criminal conviction on their record. And they almost always have criminal convictions because they're homeless. So there you go. So I'm Astrological Geek. I once was silent, but now I speak and I'm glad to educate y'all. And you know, you don't have to believe me. Look it up. Look it up for yourself. Hope is a four letter word and it's worthless because hope is always a lie. But I hope that you are able to prove me wrong. So, you know, show me your links in the comments. <laughs> Bye.